Hey everybody, Cody here with another quick beginner bluegrass tutorial. In this lesson, I am breaking down the bluegrass D run. And if you remember my video about the bluegrass G run, right, this should be a pretty easy lesson. Who could forget that classic lick because it shows up at the beginning and end of every solo, every phrasing, every song in the bluegrass genre. And today we are simply learning the same lick, but we are learning it in the key of D. So that way, next time you're playing along to a song and it goes from like D to G to A back to D, you can play this lick, right? And that is the goal of today's lesson. But very quickly, if you do like this content, comment, like, and subscribe. It helps me. It helps the channel. Otherwise, let's get going. Okay, go ahead and grab a D chord. So we've got our first finger on the G string, our middle finger on the high E string or the smallest string, and then our ring finger here on the B string, strumming everything but that top thick string, that low E string, and that gets that full D chord. Okay, so the way we're approaching this lick today is we're going to be playing the alternate bass notes leading into the lick. Now, what do I mean by alternate bass notes? Well, in the bluegrass genre, that's what really makes the bluegrass guitar stick out. So what we do is we emphasize our root notes. In this case, it's a D and an A, and we switch between those as we strum, all right? So without the strumming, we're just gonna be switching between these two notes, D, A, okay? We're not even holding anything down on these strings, actually, which is the cool part, right? D, A. Go ahead and get used to that, all right? I want you to strum down and up between picking those two notes, all right? So it might sound like this. All right? If we count with it, we can sound like this. One and Try that again. One and a two and a three. Okay, that's gonna be difficult at first, but the more you practice, the more comfortable it's gonna get, and you're probably feeling a bit nervous picking those single notes out. Maybe your hand's a bit jittery. It's all okay. That's supposed to happen, but over time you'll gain control. You'll remember what it feels like to get in that position, and you'll be able to pick the notes out, right? And as you get faster, you can kind of feel it out and get the rhythm with your, uh, well, with your rhythm hand. It will sound like this. All right, just takes practice. Okay, for the second part of the lick, we're actually going into the lick here. So what we're doing here is we're gonna be doing most of this with our pointer finger, okay? And this is gonna take place on the low E string and the A string, okay? So watch closely. We've got the one and a two and a three. And when you hit that D note, that's when the lick starts, right? It's gonna go. All right, so what I'm doing there is I'm hitting the open D note, all right? And then open on the low E string to the one fret. Open on the A string, hammering on the second fret, open on the second fret, or hammering off, and then open on the D string. So all together we've got. All right, and then we go back into that D chord at the end. All right, so let's try that a bit faster. So there's a lot there. If you want to kind of break that up and just practice uh, sliding on that E string, right? All right, and then back into that D chord. But that is the gist of it, right? So you combine it with those root notes in that D chord. It's a really cool classic 
classic sounding bluegrass lick. And you can build off of that when you're playing other songs in the key of D. And again, before we wrap things up, one thing I always like to tell everybody on these videos is if you're having trouble, if you are a beginner and you just can't seem to get the fingering right way up here, go grab yourself a capo, place it anywhere along the neck, and most likely that is going to make uh, pressing down on the frets all that much easier, all right? So again, like and subscribe if you enjoy this content, but until next time, adios.